I am Ahil Kumar. Here is an excellent example on continuous probability distribution. Consider the probability density function f of x equals to 3 times x minus 1 whole square divided by 26 when x is between 2 and k and 0 otherwise, where k is a constant. Find the value of k and find the probability that the random variable is between 2 and 3. So that's the question for you. You can pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. When we say that the probability density function is this, that means that the sum of area under this curve from 2 to k should be equal to 1, correct? So that's the base for us. And for a continuous probability distribution, how do we find the sum? We do the integration on the whole area, correct? So that really means that the integral from 2 to k for the given function, which is 3 times x minus 1 whole square over 26, this integral should be equals to 1, right? So this integral should be equal to 1. That is what it means. Now let's integrate it. So over this period of time, it will become 3 times x minus 1 whole cube divided by 3 times 26, correct? And then it is from 2 to k. And that should be equal to 1. So <clears throat> we can now substitute the values and then find what k is. So if I substitute k here, I get k minus 1, I mean, whole q over 26 minus, when I substitute 2 here, 2 minus 1 is 1, so you get 1 over 26 equals to 1 or we get k minus 1 whole cube divided by 26 equals to 1 plus 1 over 26 which is 27 over 26 right and now we can say k minus 1 whole cube is equals to 27 the cube of 3 is 1 that means uh, k minus 1 is equals to 3 and that gives us k is equals to 3 plus 1 which is 4 correct so we can find the value of k in this fashion correct so that is how we kind of get the value of k the limits for the random variable right so we can write on our function which is uh, f of x equals to 3 times x minus 1 whole square over 26 when x is between 2 and 4, right? And 0 otherwise. Uh, let us sketch this function just to get an idea. x minus 1 whole square is a parabola with vertex at uh, 1, correct? So, so let us say <coughs> So kind of one is kind of a parabola like this. So it is starting from 2 to 4. So let me just sketch it roughly, kind of like this, okay? So where uh, this limit for us is, is 2, that's the lower value, and k value is 4 now for us. So that's, that's the portion. So that is how it is going to look like. Now, here we have the values of random variable, and that's the probability distribution function, correct? Okay? Now the question here is, find the probability for x being between 2 and 3, that is to say the area between 2 and let us say, uh, well this is 3, let us say, okay, so this area. So we need to find the area of this portion, between 2 and 3 will mean this portion, is it okay? So that is what we are interested in finding. So in that case, we will do the integration over this period, which is from 2 to 3, the function is 3 times x minus 1 whole square over 26. And um, this is equal to, um, we will write the simplified version, which is x minus 1 whole cube over 26 from 2 to 3. So this you could write, when you substitute 3 here, 
you get 3 minus 1 which is 2, 2 cube is 8, right, so you can write 8 over 26, 3 minus 1 is 2, 2 cube is 8, minus 2, 2 minus 1 is 1, 1 cube is 1, so you get 1 over 26, okay, and that gives you 7 over 26 as your answer. So 7 over 26 is the probability for the random variable x to be within this period from 2 to 3, right? So that is our answer. You can also write this in decimals. Okay. Avanil Kumar, I, I hope you understand the basic concept. So in most of the questions which are like this, sometimes we are given, we are not given this parameter, in this case the limit. Sometimes we don't have complete equation, right? So the idea here is that probability density function is always 1 over the given range. So from there we can find the unknown. Once we get the equation, it's a matter of finding area under the curve for that particular portion to get the answer. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.